Hi, this is Congressman Andy Kim on April 20th. I had a phone call earlier today with a couple of small businesses out in Ocean County. And one thing that really stuck with me is that one of the small business owners were saying that, that they went through all the application process for the Paycheck Protection Program and then told by their lending bank that uh, they can't help them, that the program is frozen because there's not enough money in there. And the small business owner uh, was just sharing just uh, how concerned they were about next steps here and unsure whether or not they're going to be able to get the relief that they really need right now. This is what I've been hearing all over this district, all over Burlington County and Ocean County, all over uh, the state. There's so many business owners really on the cusp right now uh, of just in dire situations. We need to be able to pass the relief package in Congress right now. There have been negotiations over the weekend. We're seeing some positive developments and we're hoping that the Senate will move forward tomorrow on Tuesday with passage of this uh, interim bill here. And then we will take it up in the House on Wednesday. That is the current timetable. If that changes, I will let you know, as I know so many of you are dependent on this getting passed through quickly and your relief uh, is pending this action. So we need to get this done. Uh, but we also need to make sure that we are addressing the, the deeper problems to this. Adding more funds into this while we will open back up the Paycheck Protection Program, the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program, and, and these other efforts for small businesses. If we don't address the full capacity of what we need to support small businesses, this will be nothing more than just kicking the can down the road another week or two. And we really need to make sure that we just don't run into the same problems that we have right now, which is that banks uh, stop lending because they don't, ha don't have any more funds in that, in, in that pot. So that is what we're trying to do. So we need to get this program back up and uh, open and, and, and get small businesses uh, the funds that they need. But we also need to make sure that we're dealing with this at the scope and the magnitude of the problem that we're facing. So I'm just continuing to urge that while we take these steps, we also recognize that there's more that we need to do, that this is not going to be enough. And we need to take real urgent action to come up with something that is is really what the small businesses uh, in this country need and what so many vulnerable communities and, and workers and those that are on unemployment uh, need. So uh, this is what uh, I'm pressing my colleagues to come together to do. So. As I said, I'll keep you posted this week as we're moving forward. We'll hopefully be able to, to press on this uh, in the coming days and, and get uh, the small business owner I talked to today and, and many others the relief that they need. But we also know uh, that we need to do even more work after that. Uh, otherwise, uh, this will be nothing more than just kicking the problem down the road, um, which we're just going to run into again. So we'll keep at it. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for uh, so many small business owners talking to me and, and contacting me and telling me about your experiences because that helps me then take that into negotiations and press for what it is that you need. In the meantime, please uh, continue to let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Be safe and be healthy and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.